Good afternoon. I'm starting the vlog really late today. It's about half past three. Izzy has spent the whole day in bed with nausea again and yesterday from late afternoon pretty much. She was in bed, incapacitated, poor thing. If this is your first time to our channel, um, my daughter Isabel has to have uh, a certain type of medication to keep her eczema under control which is really severe eczema and really needs something um, but unfortunately it's got side effects which is sickness at the moment this has been going on for the last few weeks she's been prescribed this antiemetic but it works better some weeks than other weeks so this week and last week she's been really unwell so she's had it twice I think I'm losing track to be honest I'll have to watch my own vlogs to find out um, but anyway we're running out we're running out as you can see there's just a little tiny dribble left um, so I've run to the hospital to get a prescription for some more, but the dermatologist is away because it's half term and he's gone on holiday and he's not there till next week, which will be too late. So I have to try and contact the GP and see if they will do me a prescription without actually taking her in because she won't want to go in because she's not feeling well. So I've spoken to the receptionist on the phone. They're going to get the doctor to give me a call back. They've taken details, so we'll see what happens. The doctor's called back, finally. It's now 4.25. Um, they are going to do a prescription and send it to our local doctors for me to pick up later on when it's done and then I can hopefully get to the chemist in time today. I also need to get to Lidl's quite urgently because we are running out of everything. Well Izzy is finally up and it's gone half past four. She's hungry so she's having some spaghetti hoops. I've had another call back from the surgery. They can't get it to our local one so I've got to walk quite a trek, half an hour each way in the stormy horrible weather um, to go and get this prescription for Izzy and try and get it so that she can have another dose tonight before bed. So, it is slightly rainy, not too much. It's getting dark, Carl's got their headlights on. It's not too cold, but it's a bit windy, but not too windy, so the umbrella hasn't escaped yet. It could be worse. Hopefully there won't be a massive shower between now and getting home again. Every so often as I'm coming along, I'm seeing bits of evidence of the flood coming up, look. Wind's picking up a bit now. There's some more down there, look. I've got the prescription. I'm gonna go and see if there's a chemist open now so I can get the stuff. No, major bummer. Chemist was open, but they didn't have it in stock, so I didn't wanna order it and have to walk all the way back here tomorrow. So I'm gonna see if I can catch our local ones still open, but the time is getting on a bit now. I'm back and I see Izzy's found the last of the Christmas biscuits in the cupboard. She was craving bourbon creams. I think those were where they were. We'd better get them in an airtight box. So I'm back. It's about an hour and 10 minutes after I set out. It's now got dark out. So the good news is I avoided a soaking because it didn't rain that heavily and the umbrella didn't blow inside out. So that was a win. Another win was the local chemist was open and I managed to submit the prescription the bad news was they didn't have any of the medicine in stock, so we've got to go back in the morning. And she's only got half a dose now for tonight. Oh well, it is what it is. So I'm going to sit down, have a bit of a rest and a drink after my mighty hike and get back out to Tesco's, I think. It's a bit closer than Niddles and it's dark now and raining and horrible, but we're out of so many things. Right, I've had a drink and a biscuit and I'm going back out to face the dark and the rain. It's not too bad now, it's just, you know, a bit icky. Here I am at my favorite section. That looks a bit past its best. 89p for sprouts. Nah. See, I don't really like ready sliced runner beans because they go off quick. That looks like it's seen better days. That's 76p. I'm not here late enough, that's what it is. These collies look nice for a pound. I'll have one of those. <laughs> Broccoli, 168 a kilogram. Let's have a little bit like that for the two of us. Carrots, 49p a kilogram. Just get two, I think. 
39p for a bag of pears. Alright. 79p for a bag of spuds. Yeah, they look alright. 49p for celery. 95p for mushrooms. We eat a lot of mushrooms and I figure they're high in vitamin D and we don't have any sun, so let's try and get it from the mushrooms. 77p for green beans. There, that'll do for veg. £1.17 for a spinach and ricotta pizza. These are on offer as well. Greek yogurts, one twenty-five for four. I'm doing a little comparison of the crumpets. It's a crumpet comparison, right? So Tesco Zone are 40 pence for six. The Warburton's are 90p for six. But look at the difference in the ingredients. So for the Warburton's, they're actually fortified. They've got iron, niacin, which is vitamin B3, and thiamine, which is vitamin B1 in. But the Tesco's ones don't appear to have the fortified flour. Going for the cheaper ones anyway, because I reckon she's getting those things elsewhere in her diet. Well, I'm back home, just sticking the brolly there to dry out. Well, today's been a bit of a non-event, hasn't it? Sometimes you just get days like that, don't you? I was rather hoping to get some work done on my turkey legs, and I haven't and it's already half past seven and I haven't cooked her dinner yet so and I haven't done any flute practice I'm gonna unpack my shopping now and I'll see you in the next one bye